Forget me on uh, Romans chapter 15, verse 4. Somebody gonna call me and tell me his name. Son of man. I was already thinking son, but it wasn't man. <laughs> I was thinking son, isn't that right? Isn't that right? Should have cut him off early. What's wrong with our people? Let's see him. This is uh, Romans chapter 15, verse 4. Sounds like a lot of church. We don't want to fi- fabricate now. We want to put up here so you can see it. That's right. Romans chapter 15 and 4. Kind of basis for what we kind of look at. The other brother, I want you to give me the uh, book of cough. I'm going to say that what I want. <coughs> Aleph cough. They're going to call it First Peter. But the proper name is cough. Three... I said about 15. Matter of fact, let's see. 3 and 12. Look at 3 and 11. Aleph, Kaf. That's for 1 Peter. But we're going to look at Romans chapter 15, verse 4. Listen to the book. For whatsoever things were written aforetime. Uh oh, we can't hear you. I got a little more mic in it. I don't think it's y'all. I think it's where you got that mic at. What did it say? For whatsoever things were written aforetime. So whatsoever things are written aforetime? Were written for our learning. It was written for our learning. That we through patience and comfort of the scriptures might have hope. See that? That's how important it is for us. So I look at it right here. If, you're gonna, if we're going to discuss scripture, that way anybody. <coughs> want to look at where the edifying is going to come in for our people. Y'all got it? And about who right more than it's about the people being right. I mean, if you're going to use it just for individual, then we already know ain't no... The whole concept gonna be wrong. This this whole thing of what we do is for the edifying. Let's see what happened at first one since we said it. This is what happened. Fifteen and one. Listen to the book. We then that are strong ought to make sure we take care of ourselves. Ought to bear the infirmities of the weak. And we try to win glory for who now? And not to please ourselves. See, that's gonna be the whole benefit right now. You're gonna sit down. You're gonna discuss scripture. You're gonna go over that. What he said. You say you're strong, and let's help the weak. And make sure it ain't about us. Let's make sure it's about the other people, right? What's the whole purpose of coming together doing that? Is it about me? Is it about you? It's about us, right? Well, that's what we look at. That's how you can tell what people are that off the rip. Most of the time, these people ain't got no fame, don't about the norm, and they need to find somebody with a little bit that can help them get somewhere. Ain't that right? Nigga, get you a job. Y'all all right? Get you a job. Listen to the book. Let every one of us please his neighbor. For this what now? For his ta'ub. To edification. So that is ta'u, which is the Aubrey word for good. For those that don't know, I try to write it down. Periodically, I try to write them in so people can see it. Ta'u for good. What else happened? For even Mashiach pleased not himself. But as it is what? Written. See, that's what we look at, scripture. That's why I told her what several things are written aforetime were written for our learning. Now, why would he go and tell us about scripture? Because this is what he letting us know we got to go back and look at. Listen to the book. The reproaches of them that reproach thee fell on me. That's what he looked at. The shame, the disgraces of the people. He said fell on him. Isn't that right? And only fell on him because he was stronger than us. Isn't that right? The book said when we were without, what were we going to say? Strength. What did he do? So why would he die if we were weak? Because he was strong. What the strong got to do? And not to please himself. Y'all say he says good for the help. Didn't he help us? So we see the good. You know, see a Christian mentality again. Why they had to kill him? Why he had to die? Because you're, apparently you're ignorant. Because we were weak. And the strong got the better infirmity of the weak and not to please himself, right? Well, even the Mashiach did it. Then we talked about what is written. That's what the scripture said. The reproaches of them that reproached that reproach thee fell on me, right? <coughs> Let's see what happened. For whatsoever things were written aforetime. What was it written for? Were written for our learning. Listen why? That we, through patience and comfort of the scriptures, might have hope. See that? That gave us hope. Y'all got it? That gave us hope. Y'all good? Let me pick my bad Romans 5 and 1. I know I called over him. Romans, see that 5 and 1 right quick. We'll come back over him. I told him to get me cuff, what they call First Peter. Let me get Romans 5 and 1. This we over him. Romans 5 and 1. Listen to the book. Therefore, being justified by faith. Uh-oh, being, you said what law now? Being justified by faith. Hold on with you guys. Since you said that, let's see what 4 and 1 say. Romans 4 and 1. We'll come back to 5 and 1. Romans 4 and 1. Listen to the book. 
What shall we say then that Abraham, our Abba, as pertaining to the flesh, has found? Yeah. For if Abraham were justified by works. If he were justified by what? Works. That's what he said. If he were justified by works. I wonder what works would he be talking about? He would be talking about the works of the law. He wasn't talking about him having a job. He said he was, he was talking about the works of the law. That's the only works he could be talking about. He couldn't be talking about him going to work. Who remember what Abraham's job was? Abraham's job was? What was his job? Where was he employed at? The only works he could be talking about would be the law. Let's see what happened. He hath whereof to glory. Listen. But not before Elohim. Why? For what saith the scripture? Well, amazing. He said, but not before Elohim. I wonder why. Because he already concluded that all under the law done sin. There's no way you're going to be the glory before Elohim according to the law. What makes sense? He done already concluded that everybody under the law done sin. So what would your glory be? Let's see what he said. For what saith the scripture? What, yeah, let's see. Whatsoever was written for time, what was it written for? So why would he be going to scripture? If the works of the law would, would, would solidify man for salvation, it wouldn't make sense to tell you this. Let's see what he said. Abraham believed Elohim. You say he, sir, you say he kept the Shabbat? Abraham believed Elohim. And all of the Muhadi, which are the feast days. Abraham believed Elohim. And you say he had tassel. Abraham believed Elohim. I couldn't imagine what would have happened. And it was counted unto him for Siddiq. It was counted just like a man keeping the law. That's what he said the scripture said. He just told you this is how Abraham, this is how Abraham was justified. Goodness. Five and one. Wrong. You said five. Y'all heard you read five and one. I was just curious what the fourth chapter said. Because it's actually all one letter. White man broke it up in chapters. It didn't make you get up and recite a verse. It's needful. It's helpful, though. It helped me get right to the point. Let's see what he got us to doing what he said, line upon line, precept upon precept. It'd be hard to do that if you just got one big whole book. Unless you number the pages. Y'all got it? Can you imagine just having this one big book? Just one big book, no chapter, no verses. You just have to read it, you get to this point. He done set it up, he told him, because precept got to be upon precept. Precept upon precept, line upon line, line upon line. He'll live. That's how we do it. Let's see what 5 and 1 said. Therefore, being justified by faith. I don't know why he's not telling y'all about the law. He just told us now he would be justified. It wouldn't make sense to tell me being justified by the law when you just told me how Abraham was justified. He believed all of him. He believed all of him. And it was accounting him for righteousness. Y'all all right? He had to do something. Listen, the law is still there, people. Let's just be honest. What did he just say what justified him? The book just said he wouldn't have nothing to glory before Allah. He's not, not according to the law, he wouldn't. But he believed Allah. Him. That's the difference with us. A lot of us say here do stuff, but we don't believe. See if that's um. Uh, they're going to call it Second Chronicles 25 and 1. Uh, all aha, don't know. Dabari Hayamin is the proper name. Let's be Beth. I don't know why. They're going to call it Second Corinthians. Dabarim. No. Dabari Hayamin. Beth for second. See that twenty five and one. I think this is what kind of mess our people up. <clears throat> we think if we just act and do something that'll still count us for salvation. Listen to the book. And Messiah was 20 and 5 years old. Pay attention. How old was he? 20 and 5 years old. How old was he again? 20 and 5 years old. Tell me what else happened with him. When he began to reign. When he began to reign. And what and happened? he reigned 20 and 9 years and in Jerusalem. For, he reigned for 29 years in Jerusalem? And his aim's name was Jehohadon. Why would he tell us about his mother? Hmm? Because of Yahushua. We knew about his mother, right? Marim, didn't we? We should already know his father was. It's already going to attach back over. Listen to the book. Of Jerusalem. Listen what happened. And he did that which was right. You said what now? 
and he did that, which was right. He, so if you keep the Shabbat, would that be wrong? No, oh, that'll be right. If you kept the Muhadi, that would be right. Listen what happened. And he did that, which was right in the sight of Yahuwah. What was the problem? But not with a perfect heart. Couldn't count what he was doing for righteousness. Because he didn't believe. You see how you can do something and don't believe? A lot of y'all do that. That's a difference. I do it, I believe. I believe. I believe to the saving of the soul. See, what we've been doing for a long period of time, we've just been kind of doing things and we hadn't really looked at. Do you actually believe it? Don't do it if you don't believe it. That's stupid. Why would you do it? You ain't going to get nothing from it. 26 and 1 of Beth, I'm um, sorry, uh, Barashit, they call Genesis. 26 and 1. The only reason I want to look at it, I want to see what, I'm just kind of comparing some things. You know, the thing about scripture, when we go back through it and we look at the Dabarim, is the fact that it challenges us on a lot of ends. Because you can become real complacent. And that's what happened with us. We become complacent. Once you do something for a period of time, like a lot of us in here, we come to Shabbat because simply you don't block a lot of things out of your life now. So it's almost like normalcy to it. It ain't because you believe it. It's just that's what you've been doing. And that's how you were reared. That's how you were raised. I'm doing it because I believe. That's right. I believe. That's what he did. I stopped. Cut it off. Do exactly what he said. I believe Allah. I do it because I want to be saved. I really trust him for everything he said. Y'all got it? On, any, on everything he said, I want to trust him. And the only way for that to happen, I got to be tested on everything I love, on everything else I believe. To see what my heart at. That's what he came to do. He came to prove him down. When, when the people were afraid, when he came down and he spoke to him, hold what you got right quick. Say that, ooh, Allah Shemut. They're going to call it Exodus. Ooh, Allah Shemut. It means, and these were the names. Pick me up at chapter 20. Turn down at verse 17. <clears throat> Who all are Shemut? They call it Exodus. Chapter 20, verse 17. Listen to the book. Thou shalt not covet thy neighbor's house. Thou shalt not covet thy neighbor's asha, nor his man manservant, nor his maidservant, nor his ox, nor his ass, nor anything that is thy neighbor's. And all the arms saw the thunderings and lightnings and the noise of the truah and the mountain smoke. Well, listen. And when the palm saw it, they removed and stood afar off. And they said unto Musha, Speak thou with us, and we shall hear, and we will hear. But let not Allahim speak with us, Unless what happened? lest we die. What happened? And Musha said unto the arm, Do what? Fear not, for Allahim has come to prove you. To do what? To prove you. And that his fear may be before your faces, yeah. that ye sin not. And the arm stood afar off. And, and Moshe drew near. We want to get enough fear in him that we don't sin. They're going to have to be getting us a different heart. <coughs> that didn't stop the people. That was a temporary fear, like some of us do. Sometimes we can get a scare, an accident, or somebody close to us could die, or we could lose something. And that thing, you know, we'll get a fear for a little while. And we say, you know what? I got to get myself together simply because I'm afraid of something that just happened. And I'm afraid that it could actually be me or something that's close to me could die. And I'm going to try to get myself together. But as soon as that passed, what we'll do? We'll go right back. We'll go right back. His whole purpose was trying to give man to get something that would be continual. Y'all got it? That's the difference we look at the Ruach HaKadosh, that they're going to call the Holy Spirit, which we don't believe in. We want the Ruach HaKadosh so we can have something that will be continual, something that after we hear, after we feel, we'll continue to walk in. That's what we've been trying to search for. That's what we need. Y'all got me? A lot of people have tipper. How many times... How many of y'all have repented numerous times you can't even count? Why? Because there was no continual fear. 
There was nothing that would stay with us to keep us in a mindset that we didn't go back to a repetitive behavior. And that's what Christianity do. All you do is just keep coming, keep repenting. That's all you do, just keep coming and keep repenting. So he needed to get man to an estate that man would get away and man would fear him and man wouldn't sin. Got it? Sometimes, I remember as a kid, um, I talked about, uh, let me see. I had some cousins that would come over. They were always older than me. I was the youngest. And if anything they want to do what they do, they say we're going to quit talking, they're going to leave. I said, oh, no, no, I said, no, 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 no. I said, I'm, I'm, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. So that's how they get me every time. They said, you know what? Man, we finna go. I'm over the car. We gonna... Nigga, they had no car. I ain't know no better. You know, they couldn't go nowhere with kids. You can't just leave. And they would get me into that fact, though. I'm going to start. I, 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 whatever they want to do, I'm going to do it. Because I don't want them to leave. And I don't want them to cut them out. I don't want them to stop speaking with me. But that's the kind of relationship we got to get with Mr. Yahuwah. <clears throat> we got to look at being excommunicated because it becomes dangerous for us. Y'all got me? Huh. Let's try to look at that. Again, we're talking about what? Relationship. Before we get to that, give me this 26. Chapter of the book of Barashit that they're going to call Genesis. 26 and 1. And we'll just kind of look at that. And, we'll, and then try to see if we get some type of understanding of why we tend to do these different things. This is the um, 26th chapter of the book of Barashit that they call Genesis. 26 and 1. Let's look at something. But we were talking about Abraham. This is Genesis 26 and 1 as they'll call it. Barashit 26 and 1. Listen to the book. And there was a famine in the land, beside the first famine that was in the Yamim of Abraham. Listen. And Yitzchak went unto Abimelech, Malach of the Philistines, unto Gerar. And Yahuwah appeared unto him, and said, Go not down into Mitzrayim. Dwell in the land which I shall tell thee of. Sojourn in this land, and I will be with thee, and will barak thee. For unto thee and unto thy seed I will give all these countries, and I will perform the oath which I swear unto Abraham thy Abba. And I will make thy seed to multiply as the Kukabim of Shamayim, yeah. and will give unto thy seed all these countries. And in thy seed shall all the nations of the Arats be Barak. What happened? Because that Abraham obeyed my voice. Listen. And kept my charge, my commandments, my statutes, and my laws. And Yitzchak dwelt in Gerar. And the Anashim of the place asked him of his Asha. That's good right now. So we want to just kind of verify that he did keep the law. Abraham did keep the law. I got, and he obeyed. The difference was his heart was right. So we looked at a man right here who did too. He did everything that was right too, didn't he? But what was the problem? So can we continue to sit around and say if we just come? It was, like people try to convince people sometimes to go just say hypothetically say go to man come and go to church with me. Come, he'd be like he don't believe. Just go though, just go. So what's gonna happen if he go? Just say if it's right to go to church, and he went and he just and he went anyway, but he don't believe. What's gonna be the benefit? Same thing we got with trying to keep the law. There's no benefit in it because you don't believe. You see that? It's just no, it's no benefit because you don't believe. You still leave too many uh, unanswered questions for yourself in order for you to obtain faith. Okay. That kind of put us out there too. See if that's 10 and 1, Roman. We kind of move all over the place. I still got to get this 5 and 1 some kind of way, don't I? That's an old familiar. Romans chapter 10. On this side over here, if y'all can see it, I kind of wrote a couple of words that you Taub is the word we use for good. This is the Aubrey word. You'll see Yamin for days. Um, you also see Malak, which is shorted for king, which is actually emperor for us, but your book will have king in it. We're going to transition. But I, I think the biggest transition of our language is behavior. It's got to get to be a love. If we're going to be saying we got to get a love for him. With all your heart, with all your mind, all your soul, and all your strength. If we don't get that, the language is not going to benefit us. Because the people that we're coming back and we're reading about, you ain't going to believe it, they spoke the language. They didn't need no interpreter. They spoke the language. And they still saying, what was the problem? I wasn't right. What are we going to do with people that had original writing that still sin? Hmm. What are we going to do about that? You know what our answer would say? If we speak the language... Then we'll live better. If we had the original text it was wrote in, we, would, we wouldn't sin. <clears throat> we know that wouldn't be true because these people had it. Who could have had a pure language than, than Adam in the garden? Hmm. Where, could, where could there have been a pure language? 
What could have been a mistranslation, a misinterpretation in the garden? You created mine, made mine, in his image, his light, and he give you direct instruction in his language and in your language. Clear, the first language you know, first language you speak is the language of all of him. And you still sin? What could be the problem? The heart. Mm. It's got to be the heart. Got to be the heart. So all these things we use for it will help us to live better actually doesn't. If we don't get our heart right, we'll still continue to plummet down. We'll still continue to be uh, destroyed. We'll still continue to be wiped off the face of the horizon. Y'all got it? Okay. I'm just getting y'all facts. You got people arguing now saying we can get the original language. They had it, and they're still sin. Y'all all right? Can we agree they're still sin? Mm -hmm. So what's the answer? If we get the original writing, if we learn the language, if we had the original text, what's the answer? It's got to be the heart. It's got to be the heart. The heart going to help us communicate. That's how Yahuwah communicated. When he saw all the sons of Jesse, he said he's seen the heart. The man who he got that chose to set over Yasharal, that they call Israel, was the man called Daoud, that they call David. This man knew how to keep sheep. A da, which is the flock, or the congregation. He knew how to keep sheep. He knew the heart of a man like that. Somebody who would fight for his sheep. Somebody that if the father gave him instruction, he would keep it. Huh? And if he lost any, he would go and he would fetch it and bring it back. Huh? Then all he told us that no matter where we were scattered in this spur, you didn't believe what he said, dude. I'll come fetch you. Who would we have used for a premise to understand that? Dao. He said, that servant kept his other sheep. And there came a bear and a lion and took one of them. He said, I went out and I slaughtered them. So we understand, what is Yahuwah going to do when he come back in? When he find out, he look at these people that took and scattered all his flock, his adult. What are we looking for him to do? He said, Dao was a man after his own, what was again? So what are we expecting him to do? He looked at Dao would go, and he would slay any ravenous beast that would take anything away from the flock of the fold. So what are we looking for Mr. Yahuwah to do when he come back in and we've been taken away? Something to consider. Mm-hmm. All right, let's look at this. Romans 10 and 1. Hold on a minute. Still doing it. Better? Better. All right, we got it now. Some kind of way. Listen to the book. I key my heart's desire and for law to Allahim, for Yashar all is, that they might be saved. For what reason? For I bear them record that they have a zeal of Allahim. You, uh, what kind of zeal are we talking about? Give me a zeal. What, 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 what zeal will he be using? The law. The law. law. He can use the law. Listen, what other zeal could they possibly have? They were cute. <clears throat> they had pretty kids with straight hair. They were keeping the law. What other zeal would they have? He told you that the zeal of your house had did what? The law. The only zeal they could have had, that could have been all he would have been the law. So he's telling you what, what, what resemblance they had. He said they have a zeal of all he, which means they kept the law. But not according to knowledge. See that? You could be keeping something that don't have no knowledge. Y'all all right with that? Yes, sir. Can we just look at something? Let's look at heart. Let's look at law. How would you do What's some things you're supposed to put in the board of your government? Tassel. When are you supposed to have them? All the time. All the time. What is it supposed to help you do? Remember the law. 15 Bamad Bar. They call it numbers. It's actually called Bamad Bar. It means, it means in the wilderness. Well, wow. 
I right, start at six. We'll read down. Some kind of way to hopefully make some sense. But Madbar. It means in the wilderness. That's what the name means. Not now. Tell me now, how would you figure that out from a word called numbers? What would be the purpose of your, of your captors telling you the book is called Numbers? What were they numbering? Well, I know they say, well, it was in our 40 years in the wilderness, but the book typically the name is In the Wilderness. That's where they were at, in the wilderness. It would make sense because who else was in the wilderness? Adam and Kor. They were in the wilderness. They said they hid themselves among the trees. They was in the wilderness because of why? Sin. Wouldn't that make sense? After they sinned, where they went? In the wilderness. So it made sense that when we sinned and tested him, that he would put us where? In the wilderness. And what would that make us do? You should have considered. Because whatsoever things are written before time, written for who? Our learning. So we should have learned from our sin. When he punished us, we should have considered somebody else. When was there a time that people sin and they were in the wilderness. And guess what else happened? And they had law. And they transgressed law. Y'all all right? Yes, sir. Is this important to you? Yes, sir. Because we make a, this, this is the thing I have a problem with. How is it that we keep hearing word, the bar? That's actually it's called the bar. And we still sin. It's simply because it hadn't reached inside the inner man. It's got to get to the inner man. Y'all got me? Okay. Let's see. Listen to the book. Beginning at verse 6. Mm -hmm. Or for a ram, thou shalt prepare for a meat offering two tenth deals of flour mingled with the third part of an hen of oil. Mm -hmm. And for a drink offering, thou shalt offer the third part of an hen of wine for a sweet savour unto Yahuwah. And when thou preparest a bullock for a burnt offering, or for a sacrifice in performing You know what they're going to teach you too? By the hand. How many of y'all know how to weigh, uh, weigh out, uh, measure out a third part hand of oil? Wine. Anybody know? No, because I'm going to tell you what's going to happen with this. It's going to teach you measurement. It's going to teach you measurement. Because you know what your book of later come and tell you? That you come into the full stature. The full measurement, the full stature. So you start to learn measurement because you had to have just weights. So when you did things, you had to understand how to measure things. Y'all got me? That's what it taught you. It taught you how to measure and how to distribute different things. This was a lot of stress for us. But now we're going to translate it over the fact until we all come into the full measure. Y'all got me? To the full measure. You learn measurements from him. Two-tenth deals, all this, a homer, all these different things you had to learn. You had to learn how to, trans, you had to, learn how to transition over different things. If you didn't have it, you had to know how to substitute things. Come on, every house, when it came down to Passat, what you had to have? A what? For what? Five minutes. For what? For according to the house. So what you do? I ain't got one. What I had to do? I can take a goat. I can take a goat and learn how to substitute. What would measure out to the same degree? Y'all got it? I had to learn how to substitute. What could substitute to come out and measure out to be to the same degree? So I had to learn just weight, just hand, just measures. All these things we had to learn, I'm just listening to it and calling them, what, what sense would they make for me? All right, let's finish. Listen. Before you get that, 4 and 10, Ephesians. Y'all know how to distribute our punishment. Ephesians 4 and 10. Listen to the book. He that descended is the same also that ascended up far above all Shamayim. Yeah. That he might feel all things. Yeah. And he gave some apostles. He gave some apostles. And some Nabaim. Yeah. And some evangelists. That's right, Nabaim. We definitely don't have no prophets. Prophets is somebody that sues says for God. That's what a prophet is. Listen. And some ra'a and some teachers for the perfecting of the kodash That's for the work. Saints. There's no writing for saints. It's made up for white people. It's actually called kodash. It would be the separated. Kodash. 
Listen. For the work of the ministry. Yes. For the edifying of the body of Mashiach. Till we all come in the uniting of the Amunah. And of the knowledge of the being of Elohim. Unto a perfect ish. Unto the measure of the stature of the fullness of Mashiach. So how do you understand that? Why he you measure? So you're going to go back to look at it. Use a third part of him. You had to measure out different things you had. So now he's giving you a measurement now. And how are we going to do it? How are we going to measure this? According to the rule. What's our rule? The word, the bar. So we understand this. It makes sense for us. Because you're looking at what you had to use him when you went out. You got to take a ram. You got to do this. You got to use a third part of a hand. All this. this is measurements he's giving you. Well, now I'm giving you measurements now. You're going to need apostles. You don't need Raha. You got to bring all these things. You got to bring two, two third hens, all these different things, so you get the full measure. Y'all all right? I don't know what we're going to do. What? Are y'all all right? Okay. I don't know what we're going to do. Let's do. Listen to the book. That we, henceforth, be no, no more. No, that's good. That's good with that. Jump back over to the 15th chapter book of Bamad Bar. Bamad Bar, chapter 15. What we left off, verse 9? Verse 10. Verse 10. 15 and 10. But Matbar, they call numbers. But Matbar. Listen to the book. And thou shalt bring for a drink offering half an hen of wine for an offering made by fire of a sweet savour unto Yahuwah. Thus shall it be done for one bullock or for one ram or for a lamb or a kid. According to the number that ye shall prepare, so shall ye do to everyone according to their number. All that are born of the country shall do these things after this manner. Mm, everybody got to do this. Listen. In offering an offering made by fire yeah. of a sweet savour unto Yahuwah. See that? All this was sweet savour. We don't hear that. He said all these things had to be done for a sweet savour. Pick up five and one of Ephesians. Since we over him. Ephesians 5 and 1. Think about something else, too. Aleph, Shemuel, they're going to call it 1 Samuel. Shemuel, the name of Allahim. Y'all say that for me. They're going to call it 1 Samuel. They call it Aleph. Shamuwal, Aleph for first, first Aleph, that's of Aleph Beth. Shamuwal, it means the name of Allahim. He gonna hold me at 17 and 20. This is Ephesians 5 and 1. Listen to the book. Be ye therefore followers of Allahim. As who now? Dear Bani. As dear, as dear children, never say for them, but dear Bani. And do what? And walk in love. And what? As Mashiach also hath loved us. He told you to walk, you said, walk in the Shabbat, do what now? And Walk in love. You said, and pass her to do what? And walk in love, as Mashiach also hath loved us. And did what? Hath given himself for us. Of what? An offering. And what else? And a sacrifice for to Allahim. For a sweet-smelling savor. For everything you just read in the 15th chapter of the book of Bermont, we're talking about an aroma. You know, he would name not these different animals. Then he told you to bring a kid. That's right. And then but a child. It could equal out. We did that before we substituted. Y'all right. know that? Yes, sir. We substituted before. Let's see what happened. At the 17th chapter of the book of all, we'll, we'll come up some kind of way. Let's see. Olive, Chamuel, they call First Samuel. I didn't want that, but just kind of listening. Kind of make you consider. Because you know what? We look at a lot of stuff, a lot of just insignificant today. It's just, it's no use of it. It's no use for it. But I'm listening to the man talking about sacrifice. He's doing measurement. I know I got to walk. I got to come into the full measurement. So I got to know something about numbers too, don't I? They had to know about when they went into captivity, didn't they? Mm. How long were they going to be in Babylon? 70 years. They had to know about years. They had to know numbers. They had no equivalent. Isn't that right? Mm -hmm. Know what we're going to do. Let's see what the book says. Like. Listen. And Daud rose up early in the morning and left the sheep with a keeper and took and went as Jesse had commanded him. And he came to the trench as the host was going forth to the fight and shouted for the battle. For Yashorol and the Philistines had put the battle in array, army against army. And Daoud left his carriage in the hand of the keeper of the carriage, 
and ran into the army, and came and saluted his Achim. And as he talked with them, behold, there came up the champion, the Philistine of Gath, Goliath by name, out of the armies of the Philistines, and spake according to the same Dabarim. And Daoud heard them. And all the Anashim of Yasharal, when they saw the East, fled from him, and were sore afraid. And the Anashim of Yasharal said, Have ye seen this East that is come up? Surely to defy Yasharal is he come up. And it shall be that the East who killeth him, the Malak will enrich said, him. It's going to be, as it will say, in their land, it will say, the man that do it. Th that the man who killeth him. Now you good with East. I want East. But it's, it will say for that, it will say the man that killeth him, right? What will happen? The Malak will enrich him with great riches. Yeah. And will give him his bath and make his Abba's house free in Yasharal. And I would spake to the Anashim that stood by him, saying, What shall be done to the East that killeth this Philistine? Listen. And taketh away the reproach from Yasharal? Listen. For who is this uncircumcised Philistine that he should defy the armies of the living Allahim? Mm hmm. And the people answered him after this manner, mm -hmm. saying, So shall it be done to the East that killeth him. And Eliab the eldest brother heard when he spake unto the Anashim, and Eliab's anger was kindled against Daud. And he said, Why camest thou down hither? And with whom hast thou left those few sheep in the wilderness? Yeah. I know thy pride and the naughtiness of thine heart, for thou art come down that thou mightest see the battle. Listen. And Daud said, What have I now done? Is there not a cause? Did I? He said, Is it not a cause? Is it not a reason for him to be there? Let's see. And he turned from him toward another. Yeah. And spake after the same manner. What happened? And the people answered him again after the former manner. And when the Dabarim were heard which Daoud spake, they rehearsed them before Shaul. And what happened? And he sent for him. And Daoud said to Shaul, What did he say? Let no man's heart fail because of him. Don't let no man's heart fail because. Tell him why. Thy servant will go and fight with this Philistine. Why? And Shaul said to Daoud, What did he say? Thou art not able to go against this Philistine said, to fight with what him. again? Thou art not able to do what now? To go against this Philistine to fight with him. Why? For thou art but a youth. That's all I need. Somebody go to the 15th chapter book of uh, Bamar Bar. Bamar Bar, they call number chapter 15. I think Brandon still got it. I think he left off at verse 10, you said before. Oh, well, you're going to get me 9 and 6. Yes, sir, Yahoo. Listen to the book. And thou shalt bring for a drink offering half and hint of wine for an offering made by fire of a sweet savor unto Yahuwah. Yeah. Thus shall it be done for one bullock, Listen. or for one ram, or for a lamb, or a kid. See that? Y'all didn't get it. Y'all heard what's going to happen. The man that was going to kill this, this champion, Goliath, what was going to be given to him? If y'all pay attention, Daoud was not a man. He was a kid. And he said, thus you're going to do it for a kid too. couldn't find a man. If you couldn't find a lamb, you could bring a goat. You can't find a man, get me a kid. Nine and six, yes, Yahoo. Oh, that just off the rip. You had to run around and show the, I got both what I'm teaching. Mm -hmm. And guess what happened? You got to do the same thing for the kid. That's right. That's what he told you at nine and six. Yeah, they call it Isaiah. The name is Yasha Yahoo. I mean, Yahuwah is salvation. Yasha Yahoo. That's why I wouldn't be a Christian. <laughs> you will take it and rip this whole page and throw it away. <laughs> That's right. Rip it and throw it away. It wouldn't make no sense to throw it away. How's right. I'm understanding? That's right. This is what he told him. This is 9 and 6 of Yeshayahu. Unto who? Us. A what? Y'all is born. And you got to do the same thing for a kid. Listen to the book. Unto us a, a what? being is given. See that? A son is given. And tell him what's going to happen. And the government shall be upon his shoulder. A child. And the book said, and a child shall lead them. And thus, we're going to do the same thing for a kid. A child going to lead him. And? His name shall be called Wonderful. What else? Counselor. What else? The Mighty Elohim. The who? Everlasting Abba. What else? The Shah of Shalom. That's right. That's what a prince is, Shah. He's a ruler. What else happened? Of the increase of his government. What else? And Shalom, there shall be no end. Listen, what else happened? Upon the throne of Daoud. How do we forget Daoud? As a child, he was just a youth, just a lad. Come on back to the book of Bermond, Bob. It's right. I don't know what people do. It's right. This is the 15th chapter of the book of Bermond, Bob. We're at verse 11. Yes. 
Verse 11. 15 and 11, they call numbers. Listen to the book. Thus shall it be done for one bullock, or yeah. for one ram, or for a lamb, or a kid. I got it right. See that? Got to do the same thing for the kid. Listen. According to the number that ye shall prepare, yeah. so shall ye do to everyone according to their number. Listen. All that are born of the country shall do these things after this manner. Listen. In offering an offering made by fire of a sweet savour unto Yahuwah. Yeah. And if a stranger sojourn with you, or whosoever be among you in your generations, and will offer an offering made by fire of a sweet savour unto Yahuwah, as ye do, so he shall do. See that? They got to do the same thing. Come on. One ordinance shall be both for you of the congregation and also for the stranger that sojourneth with you. So all of a sudden now you got the Hebrew Israelite camp to tell you white people can't join. Hispanics can't join. All these people can't join. Tell them to explain it what the man just told you. If they sojourn with you, they're supposed to be just like one that's just like you. That's right. That's right. They can't be a Gentile if they're gonna dwell, if they're gonna dwell with us and keep all of the same rituals and rites and statutes. You know why, how that going to work? And how you got to see that like that way? Because that's the only way he going to see you as being his son. Yep, yep. That's right. You got to keep the same rituals and rites just like Yahuwah did. Yep. Let's see what happens. And they're going to call it First Peter. Olive. Cuff. They call it First Peter. Four and one. It don't make sense. See, this, this is what ties up the Hebrews are like in the other congregation. The fact that nobody else could come in but their race or their color, which wouldn't make sense. So these people were grafted in just like you are. Let's see what he told us. All of four and one. All of Kof, the first Peter they called. The name is Kof. It means hollow hand rock. Kof. Listen to the book. For as much then as Mashiach hath suffered for us in the flesh, Arm yourselves likewise with the same mind. So if I arm myself likewise with the same mind, that means I got the same artillery. That means I'm going to fight this. The only way to give me the same artillery is to train me to fight the same way. Let's see what happens. Forget that Olive Beth, Samuel, 118. They're going to call it 2nd Samuel, 118. Let's see what he said. Beth, 2nd Samuel, they're going to call it. Shamuel. I think it 117 right quick. 18 what I want. Let's see what 17 say. Listen to the book. And Daoud lamented with this lamentation over Shaul and over Jonathan his Ben. What happened? And he bade them teach the Bani of Yehuda the Pay use attention. of the bow. He said told them to teach. Listen, there. he made them. To teach them the use of the what? Of the bow. What happened? Behold, it is written in the book of Yeshua. So as much as Mashiach has suffered for us in the flesh, he told him to arm yourself likewise with the same what? Mine. So he would take the book and use it to teach every one of them the same information. So everybody would know how to use the bow. That's right. That's right. So this would make sense when I listen to Olive, Cuff, 4 and 1. 1 Peter 4 and 1. Listen. For as much then as Mashiach hath suffered for us in the flesh. Tell me what I'm supposed to do. Arm yourselves likewise with the same mind. I'm just supposed to think in my mind how he did it, Dave, and do it. It's got to be a book. It's got to be a book to teach me how to do this. That's right. That's why we look at what sort of things are written in four times were written by what? Learning. That we through patient comfort of the scripture might what? have hope. Why would he tell him to get that book? To teach them how to arm themselves. <clears throat> because that book was a book of defense. That's right. This is what we, this is defense. That's right. He told you wisdom was a defense. Wisdom fight our stupidity. Knowledge keeps you from being dumb. Mm. So that's what I'm doing. I'm doing the same thing. Teach them the use of the bow. For it must then, as the Mashiach has suffered for us, where? In the flesh. So do what? Arm yourselves, likewise, with the same mind. For he that keep the Shabbat and all the other what? For he that has suffered in the flesh had did what? ceased from sin. Of course I'm going to keep the Shabbat. That don't make sense for me not to keep it. But I got to have that same mind. I got to learn how to suffer. Mm -hmm. You don't suffer, you can't reign. Mm -hmm. Y'all all right? Yes, sir. Are we all right? Yes, sir. We died from it. We, we were regained through his suffering. 
He came to them that were under the law. To do what was again? Do what to them? Why would you be redeeming somebody that got a law that saved? If the law saved, why would you be redeeming me from the law? I'm on a boat. Everybody on the outside of the boat drowning. Leon is coming to get me out of the boat to put me in the water to save me. Would that make sense? It would make sense that Leon was coming to get me out of the water to get me on the boat. Right. To keep me from drowning in the water. Right. So if he came to redeem them that was under the law, that meant the law didn't save them. That's right. That's right. That wouldn't make sense. Don't make sense. Wouldn't make sense. Not unless you're a moron. Yeah. So now you got to look at the principal thing where we got to get it. This whole thing had to be a faith. But how you get faith? By hearing. And what you got to hear? So we get rid of the law? Nope. You got to have the law. That's right. Isn't that right? Yes, sir. But it's supposed to produce faith. There are some disciplinaries that you have to have in order for you to in order for you to uh, accomplish or in order for you to obtain faith. That's some, that's some disciplinary you got to have in order for you to try to complete the law. You know, he concluded. He ain't found nobody that done done it. 7 and 27. Who know what I want? Call her law. They call it Ecclesiastes. Call her law. You know what I love about this? Because just when you think you got one side, he flip you back to the other side, don't it? You say, God, I ain't got to keep this. Then you go back and say, I do got to keep it. <laughs> but they ain't got to do that. Say, I do have to get back over there. That's right. right. You got to know what you're doing. Yes, sir. You're going to mess up. Yes, sir. That's our school. But that's what's going to get us to him. Huh? You going to tell me about how, when the, the Shafar sound. Or possibly to rule, because it's going to be the loud blast, right? Long blast to rule. Who's going to rise? Who's going to die? Who's going to rise? Who's going to rise first? 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 Why y'all backing off of it? For Bart, Bart, 10 to 1. <clears throat> For Mark, Bart, they call numbers. We're going we're gonna to get this call a lot. Let's look at some. 10 and 1. Since I called it, what is that? First Thessalonians 4 and 17? We got to get that so the folks know where we're getting this stuff from. No, that's right. First Thessalonians, right? Second Thessalonians, Second Thessalonians, was it 4 and 7? 4 and 17? Second Thessalonians 4 and 17. But Mark Bar, they call numbers. So it's first, first Thessalonians 4 and 17. They probably moved it. You know why I called it Second Thessalonians 4 and 17? So this ain't the first time I done called it. <laughs> but some of y'all ain't heard me call it but one time, so I put the one back up there. Brandon don't like that. Hey, well, he don't like that. Hey, well. <laughs> 10 and 1. 16, make it 15. 4 and 15. Listen to the book. For this we say unto you by the Debar of the Adonai, that we which are alive and remain unto the coming of the Adonai shall not prevent them which are asleep. Pay attention. We shall not do what now? Prevent them which are asleep. Tell them what's going to happen. For the Adonai himself shall descend from Shamayim with a shout. And? With the voice of the arch Malachi. A Malachi, not an angel. That's some old Greek mess. Listen. And with the Shafar of, of Allahim. And the dead in Mashiach shall rise first. Y'all see what And the dead who now? And Mashiach shall rise first. That's all I need. But Mark Bar, they call Numbers chapter 10 and verse 1. Listen to the book. And Yahuwah spake unto Mashiach, saying, Make thee two shofar of silver, of a whole piece thou shalt make them, that thou mayest use them for the calling of the assembly and for the journeying of the camps. And when they shall blow with them, all the assembly shall assemble themselves to thee at the door of the tabernacle of the congregation. 
and if they blow but with one shofar, then the rulers which are the heads of the thousands of Yasharal shall gather themselves unto thee. That's good. Y'all hear that? Y'all all right? That makes sense? That makes sense? Kazum. They're going to call it Revelation 5. It's called Kazum. I mean, they'll say the interpretation is vision. We don't have revelation. White people have that. Greeks, our captors had. They taught us all these words. The proper terminology is kazoom. That's why we write it down so y'all can see it. You can copy it, go over it. Don't, at this point, that's what I tell anybody. Don't trust me, don't trust nobody. Everybody got to be verified now. Stop letting folk tell you, you can trust me. Good, I'm going to be watching. Yeah. You push it mighty hard to say I can trust you. If you're honest, it'll prove itself. You know, I ain't got to blow my horn about you can trust me. It'll prove itself out. If it be other wide mind, and like Shaul said, Allahim will reveal it. That's right. If it be any other <laughs> mind, he'll reveal it. You got to check behind everybody. Kazum. They call it Revelation. Kazum, chapter 5, verse 7. Listen to the book. And he came and took the safar out of the right hand of him that sat upon the throne. And when he had taken the safar, the four beasts and four and twelve zakon. Zakon fell down before the lamb. That's the word for elders, Zakon. Go ahead. Having every one of them harps and golden vials are full of odors, which are the palah of the Kadash. And they sung a new song, saying, Thou art worthy to take the safar and to open the seals thereof. For thou wast slain and hast redeemed us to Allahim by thy blood out of every kindred and tongue and arm and nation. And what has, did they do again? What did he do to us? And has redeemed us to Allahim by thy blood out of every kindred and tongue and arm and nation. Listen. And has made us unto our Allahim, Malachim, and Kohanim. And have made us what again? Made us unto our Allahim. Who? Malachim and Kohanim. What did he make us one more time? Malachim and Kohanim. Kohanim. That's the actual word, not priest. Let's see what he'll tell you over here again at 4 and 6, 4 and 15, 1 Thessalonians. Got to be a reason for all this. This is 1 Thessalonians chapter 4 and verse 15 again. Let's listen to it. Listen to the book. For this we say unto you by the debar of Yahushua. He said we're saying it by the word of Yahuwah. By the word of Yahushua. That what happened? That we which are alive and remain unto the coming of Yahushua. To do what? Shall not shall not prevent them which are asleep. We can't keep them back. Listen what happened. For Yahushua himself shall descend from Shamayim with a shout. Pay attention to what he's going to do. He's going to do what? Shall descend from Shamayim with a shout. And? With the voice of the chief Malachi and with the Shufar of Allahim. Listen. And the dead in Mashiach shall rise first. Well, you, so what understand you get from this? Well, you just learned about him, but Mark Bar, when you took the Torah, when you made it, <clears throat> when you blow it, you ain't going to believe it's supposed to come first. Your ruler. So you telling me if I got rid of law, I understand this. I understand why you getting up first, in the Mashiach first, because those are your rulers. If I got rid of law, I just understand that he's a Christ superstar. <laughs> <laughs> I got to have the law. I got to have the law. That's why I'm understanding. Why they going to write? Why everybody going to get it at the same time? Because everybody's not a ruler. That's right. So you learn these disciplines from the law. Are y'all all right? Yes, sir. But see, this is the problem we got with people. I'm just worried about being saved. You can't be saved. You can't be saved unless you understand. That's the whole purpose. You got to be able to understand. We talked about last night with Shalom. He wanted an understanding heart so he could do what? Judge. judge. What is he going to use to judge? The law. So he needs understanding. So that's why the book tells you who's worthy of death. They without understanding. It wouldn't make sense to save you when you don't understand. In the 22nd chapter of the book of Matthew, he had to get it, verse 29. Yahushua told them they do error. Not knowing the scripture, nor the authority. You don't even know what it worked by. He said you err. If you err, that means you go wrong. If you're going wrong, wrong not going to get you right. If you keep going wrong, you get further off. 
That's the problem we got, and that's what's happening for a course of time. We just constantly been doing something and hoping and praying, and we don't even know what to pray about. We don't even know what we're supposed to believe. You're supposed to believe to receive to achieve to believe. Right back in the circle. Because we don't know. We just keep grasping for something. And he came along to do something we didn't have. He came to give us understanding. And you know how he said he's going to do that? He's going to give you a raw. That's how we look at dog. Who's going to protect those sheep? Who's going to keep the, a dog? Who's going to keep the flock? He said, I'm going to give you raw according to my heart. Which is going to feed you with knowledge and understanding. It wouldn't make sense for you to go nowhere else to sit down and leave stupid. That's never been his agenda, leave us stupid. The man's intent was to make sure we were taught of him. At your 644. They call it St. John. Your Ukanon. It means Yahuwah is gracious. This is your salvation. You, know, you can't afford to sit back anywhere anymore and let somebody play with your salvation. You're going to be judged by this. And if you're wrong, there's no place for people that was wrong, but they were honest. You couldn't be honest if you're wrong. If you're honest, he's going to give you the sight. He's going to give you the information. Somebody's going to come you and get correction. That's right. If you're honest. That's right. There's no honest people that die without no salvation. No, sir. If you die without it, you're not honest. That's right. That's I don't right. believe it. That wouldn't make sense. That's right. That take away my hope. Six and forty-four. They call it Saint John. Yahuk Kanan. Yahuwah is gracious. Six and forty-four. Oh, when you get me Abba Ring, they call it Hebrews chapter three and verse seven. Abba Ring. Listen. No each can come to me. No man can come to me. Except the Abba which hath sent me, except draw him. the Father which hath sent me, draw him. And you'll do what? And I will raise him up at the last June. And I'm going to raise him up at the last June. Who's getting up? The rulers. The rulers. The rulers. I don't know, so how are you going to raise you up? When his voice comes, he said, my sheep know my voice. They I know. know them. And guess what they do? Follow me. You ain't going to believe what Dawood's sheep did. They follow him. That's right. They knew his voice. That's what we try to tell folks. We're supposed to hearken to the sound of the, of the shofar. We learn that from the law. That's right. That's how you're supposed to know how to hear your teacher, your leaders. That's right. That's what you got. <clears throat> Yahoo 6 and 16. They call it Jeremiah. I know I got a lot of stuff in the book. It's right, though. It's right. Yerim Yahoo. It means Yahuwah is exalted. Yerim Yahoo. They call it Jeremiah. Yah. Rum Yahoo. 6 and 16. What, what would be the need to tell you his name is Jeremiah, y'all think? Versus Yahrim Yahoo. What would be the significance of telling y'all his name is Yahrim Yahoo? Anybody figure out? Anybody know why? Hmm? Well, one reason to tell you why his name is Yahrim Yahoo because it also lets you know what tribe he came from, Ben Yamin. That's their territory. Ram. It means exalted. High. Rama. That's what it is. It means high. Yahuwah was high. When he was on the two, they would tell you that. And only that, he even told you that. The man from Benjamin. Don't worry about it. We'll deal with that too one day. Listen to the book. This is 6 and 16. Listen. Thus saith Yahuwah, stand ye, stand ye in the ways and see. This letting you, listen, this is giving you the ability to do what you're supposed to do. This letting you make a choice. This letting you do what you feel like is right. He just told you to stand ye in the ways and see. And do what? Ask for the old paths. He know you ain't got enough sense to pick the right way. He didn't tell you to stand there and see and you just go which way that seemed good to you. He told you that. Ask for what? Ask the oldest way that's been there. Ask for the path that we've taken. Huh? The path your father taken that obeyed that followed. And do what? Where is the told way? See that? Where's the good way? He tell you where it is, the old way. That's your law. Why would I get rid of the law? And then what he told me to do? And walk therein. And what happened? And ye shall find rest for your souls. Because the, the law of your schoolmaster is supposed to get you to the Mashiach. 
He said, come unto me, all you that burden. And what was again? And what are you going to give me? So if I take the law and follow the law and I don't find him, that means I ain't following right. It ain't hard to figure this out. He just told me to take the law. And when I find it, walk in it. And then you're going to find rest for your soul. So if I ain't got no rest, what's the problem? You ain't walking right. You're not walking right. Because it's supposed to get you to the Mashiach. The anointed one. It's supposed to get you there. But listen, what else he did? But they said, we will not walk therein. That's the problem right there. That's why you ain't got it. Because you ain't walking in it. Tell me what else happened, Brandon. Also, I said, watchman over you. God needs somebody because I can't let you lead yourself. I said, I'm going to assist you guys. Sit here and tell you, they tell you this is the old way, this is the best way, and you're too stupid to walk in. He said, also, what did he do? I said, watchman over you, saying, hearken to the sound of the shofar. But they said, we will not hearken. Therefore hear, ye nations, and know, O congregation, what is among them. This is now we sit here and we're looking at. That's why you need a leader. You need somebody to cry to try to tell you where you're supposed to go, which way you need to be going. Try to point out all your defects, your insufficiencies, so you can get it right. A lot of times people feel like you can lead and teach themselves. You can't lead and teach yourself. He even told you when he asked you to look and see, to tell you to ask somebody, where is the good way? Which way is right for me to walk in? He said, if you walk in it right, guess what? You're going to find rest for your soul. A lot of times people don't know why they're so defeated, why they're so drawn out, because you keep going wrong. You keep doing things that are contrary to what the man commanded you. You're not going to make it. Listen, sometimes you get a certain product, electrical, whatever it might be. Sometimes it'll tell you things. You ever seen sometimes you get a product, and they'll show you the product, a picture of the product, and you'll see this with it. What that'll be for? Don't do it. Don't do that, and they'll scratch out and let you know, do not do this with that product. That's what he's trying to tell you with the law. When he gave it to you, he put a big circle around, put an X to you, don't do this with yourself, baby. Don't transgress it. You're going to tear the product up. There's not going to be a warranty on it. This is how you void your warranty for salvation. All your instructions are to teach you what not to do with the product. You're going to buy a radio. I'm going to say it to you, lifetime warranty today. They want to play heels in the bell tub with it. And they shocked the hell out of him now. And he tearing up and he survived. He going to bring it back to me and want to know about, tell me something wrong with his radio. What's wrong with your radio, Dan? Oh, it ain't playing right. What's wrong with it? I don't know. I just bought the thing. You tell me what's wrong with it. I see water dripping from it. I'm going to know, Dan, did you hook this in, a, in something? Because even with some of these electric, it'll tell you what kind of voters you want to put to it. A, a lot of stuff when people mess up, they don't realize. It's in your manual. You just didn't read it like your law. When you find you going wrong, a lot of your information is in your law. But you didn't read it. And you'll realize... This will void your warranty. He's promised me eternal life. I can void that if I'm going to go and I'm going to willingly transgress myself. He said it is impossible for those who were once said like the taste of the Shamaim gift and were made a partaker of the, of the power of the come. And if these should fall away. Now, he's taking a radio. I sold him with a lifetime warranty, and I clearly put on the instruction not to put it around moisture, not to put it in any type of water, and Dave had done it. Am I wrong? Because I, I, I choose not to try to give him another one. Who's wrong? Why are they slandering me? Why are they saying I'm a liar? Why are they saying I don't keep my word? I said lifetime warranty. But there are some things that are described in that package to tell them if you do this, you will void your warranty. I'm going to willingly go out here and sin. What have I just did with eternal life? I still got it. I just bought it to warranty. I just bought it to warranty. And the only way for it to work, the only way for it to last, I got to keep these certain, I got to keep these rules and regulations he set for me. That's, a, that's sad that people can understand that. They'll buy a product before they give, they'll read them. Some people just stand by and start putting it. Some people say, I want to look at this and read it. You look, a lot of stuff said limited lifetime warranty. Because you can do some things that can cut it short. Even your book said, Why be not overly wicked? What, what did it tell you to do? Why should you die before time? What do you mean you just shorten the longevity of it? 
That's how important it is. And this is why people get into them situations where he ain't real, I don't believe, I don't know what's right. Because you ain't read the manual. So he made sure to give you somebody that understood the product. You know what they'll have on some of them product? A 1-800 number. Somebody you can call that can sit down. Sometimes they say, do you mind if I put you on a brief hold? Do me a favor. Look at the back of your product. Give me them numbers off of it. Because first of all, I'm going to make sure if it's even ours. They're like you who Before you start calling me saying it don't work, I want to make sure first of all, do you even belong to this company? That's some junk. You could have got some Chinese products. Calling me with that junk. No, put, no, that's what they do now. They call him Mr. Hood, talking about trying to fix something. You didn't get it from me. That's right. Where did you get your plan of salvation from? That's right. Mine look like day. You can't, you can't use what look like day. That's right. Did you get it from me? That's amazing. You can't call nobody and tell them my garage door open, do the same thing. And mine come with a lifetime warning. You are some Chinese model. <laughs> Made in Taiwan. Made at Greater Hospital. I ain't gonna talk. Now that one will last. I ain't gonna lie about it. Anything made at Greater Hospital, because I'm from Greater Hospital. I'm still him. I'm still here. I ain't went nowhere. Listen, Greater Baby died and come back. That's where they made the living dead from, Greater Baby. <laughs> Harriet Truman. He the president. <laughs> you know, Greater Baby, we last a long time. Y'all all right? So the whole thing, again, comes down. Do y'all understand what I'm telling y'all? Why stuff don't work? Look at where you got it from. Don't try to come up with no Jesus Christ for no warranty. There's no warranty behind some of these people that have made a figment of their imagination to keep you and to dominate you and lie to you. People say it's just a matter. Of, it ain't a matter. It's a matter of these people have sat and lied to you. They have stolen their man's identity. He said these folks have come here and deceived my people saying, I have dreamed. A lot of people, you know, especially with older black people, you know what we would be here for? If grandmama, granddad, or uncle, aunt got them and said, I dream. Everybody start listening. My mama had a dream. It'd be, you sell, y'all, how many of y'all old people remember stuff like that? Y'all had found them, they dreamed something. Folks listen to it, want to know what they were talking about. And you know, he said they do that. He said they caused the people to forget my, forget my word. That's right. But he ain't never told you and sent you out on no dream. They get what you got, 23, 23 a year on Yahoo. They call it Jeremiah. I know I'm all over the place, but I guarantee you it's right. Twenty-three Jeremiah, they call it twenty-three twenty-three. I got we got expectation. We want we want to be saved. You don't, you don't need nobody else lying to you. Nobody else playing with you. Nobody else taking no money for you making a fool out of you no more. It's something now. Arguing and fussing, crying, trying to make the Catholic Church to come out there and admit that they've been homosexual, molested kid. Don't tell them that you that stupid. Your little boy come home pregnant. You know, good and done well. You don't need nobody admitting. You already know for yourself. That's you know, right. You know, still sitting there, kid, they count the Christian during school. Yep. So kid out there jump. The whole religion is about rape. That's how they kidnap you through rape and lies and torture. Yep. They don't say we try to blame the priest. I don't blame the priest. I blame you. Yep. Isn't that right? At what point are we gonna wake up, we're gonna realize. Y'all be surprised how these folks have made a fool out of us. These people make a big fool out of us. You know, I was sending some stuff to the Akut that I, we was uh, kind of texting, just going over words like amusement, something that's just kind of delusional, or, or, or to try to divert your attention and get you off, and you'll take your kids to amusement park because you don't see nothing wrong with it. You know, I kept going, I looked up, I said, let me look up. Now, that's when you look up what amuse uh, mean, when you look up for etymology, etymology is where the word originated from, where it came from. They don't want to deal with that. So I said, let me look at Wicked. You know what Wicked say amusement is? Like if you want to go like shooting your gun or if you want to go fishing, that's amusement. I said, nothing but Crocker could do that. Nothing but Crocker could take something and try to make it look like everything safe. What's delusional about going fishing? What's deceptive about you going fishing? Your hooser got fishermen. He taught them how to catch men. But they'll try to tie something up. That's how they'll get these folks with these son of mine in here and out there too. Son of mine always trying to justify this. They don't realize. These crackers make a fool out of you. These crackers twist words from French, Latin, Greek, take you around to Germany and run you over here to England and just make a fool and you're still too stupid. Every school, every kid in school, if they got it wrong, they ought to grade it right. 
If you're that stupid and you read something and you sit here and look, these crackers tell you, we made up this what it mean, and it don't mean that, and you got your own right meaning, you can't grade none of these kids wrong in school. I got dumb educators that do that. These crackers will sit here and show you this is what the world, we actually invented this to deceive you, magic. Conjuring witchcraft. That's what magic means. Now, Disney got a magic kingdom. The word magic means, listen, witchcraft, conjuring. Oh, man, they didn't get money. Guess what else it is? Sleight of hand. It means to go and defy nature. Magic. You ain't going to believe it by the guy play basketball. What they used to call him? What did Magic John used to do? Sliding. What was he known for? Good. They trick you with your own people. They use your own people. And you see him come, you know what I'm saying? Hey, what's going on, Magic? Witchcraft, sorcery. This is how bad off our people's minds are. He crack a plate. You know what? You don't see nothing wrong with it. That's why he got AIDS. You don't see that wrong. Go kiss him in the mouth. Yeah. <laughs> yep. You know how he got that AIDS? Sleight of hand. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he went around his back. And they're like, Magic, where the ball at? Magic said, stop. <laughs> he used to do like this, did it? Magic said, fire. They're like, everybody look like, where the ball at? Magic's like, <laughs> <laughs> Sleight of hand. Guess what else they'll get you with, um, amazing with magic? They tell you, they'll get you in juggling. Juggling. You know what I'm saying? You'll see them clown folks start juggling. You try to figure out, you say, man, how they do that? It's defying nature. They go against nature. They teach you to do stuff that he's trying to tell you, I don't want you doing. You know who tried to tell you about juggling? Shaul. He said, they do vain juggling. Your book tell you about vain juggling. It's all about an illusion, making you think something's happening. And you get, wow, and you get it going. He don't want you doing it. A lot of stuff these people do, get away from it. These people made a fool. Everything we try to call for entertainment, these people get theaters. All the stuff, they, these folks have names to tell you what their stuff means, and you still go. I got members here still talk, but is it wrong? You go. I'm going to pray for you. You go, and I will pray for you. It's dangerous that y'all look at, these ain't words, you know, it's a different when you say, the Lord came and showed me this word mean. He showed me nothing. It's in their own definition. Their own definition tell you that. And why am I sitting here arguing when they the one made it and they the one that owned the amusement park, not us. They the one created the amusement park, not us. They the one wrote the word amusement, not us. And they the people that gave it the, the definition to food, to delusion, witchcraft, sorcery. But is it wrong, though? Not for you, nigga. It made just right for you to kill y'all. Yep. What would be wrong with us? Why we can't find and make our own stuff? The fact that we can magic kingdom. Somebody sent me one of our cool put on them, the word Mickey. And somebody had the word Mickey. And when you flip, listen, when the reflection got it, it showed the M upside down. It actually spelled wicked. Hmm. You know what that say? You could do that with anything. I know Delver. I know Delver. He just had to be, oh, wicked, just had to be at Disney. At the amusement park. Wicked. And you know what they do? They get wicked, 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 wicked. Wicked, 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 wicked. That's what they get in these places. And at some point, when are we going to wake up? Why is it we keep trying to, why you love these crackers so much that you so damn stupid that you sit here and let a cracker tell you something and you still do it? That's right. Bring you some food out here. He go, he go, I just pissed in it. Man, I can't wait to get this. What, I mean, is it wrong though? <laughs> what do piss mean? <laughs> what is wrong with niggas' mind? How you that stupid? They, they, they too smart for that to learn. They all know they're too smart. They still go to Miriam and Paul. They still go to the theater. These people have, listen, they mess us up. Apollo is a Greek god of singing and entertainment. And guess what you got? Apollo Theater. Guess what you got to do when you go there? Rub on wood because it's a god. They got black people. They tell you all your great black stars come from the well. Apollo. As soon as you walk where they say, you can't come out there unless you do what? Give homage to their God. <clears throat> then they want to know why Aretha Franklin did, why these folk gone. 
James Brown. They all played at the Apollo. Mm -hmm. They all, guess what they read? They all know this is a God. A Look at that for me. Give them the definition. I don't want to run my mouth. Look at that for me. How many of y'all don't know what the meaning of uh, Apollo? Look here. Read, look at that for So that way I can be neutral. I don't want to create that. Look at that for so you can hear what it is. Give me the model of Apollo. And you know what you'll do? You'll still watch it and you'll still go to the Apollo Theater. Let us hear the definition of theater, etymology. That's something I create. That's, see, they don't even teach you that in college and high school to go and look into etymology. Etymology is going to show you where the word came from, when the word was created, and what it meant. You look at the definition, Cracker just gave you something. Mm -hmm. they, they lie to us. That's why it's dangerous for you to ever go to a church. That's a church means a place of pagan worship. Man, there is no such thing as a good church. What's a good pagan? I am so pissed with the fact these folks have made a fool out of us. How do these preachers go to school, learn Greek, and come back and still teach you and delude and say here and make you a fool? And they preach and learn Greek. Our people don't even know what kind of detriment we're in. We're in, we in bad. It's bad to sit in the church. Wicked. Everything he told you not to do, go on to church. He said, you weren't supposed to have none of them images. He said, the day when I spoke to you, you saw none. That's right. I got one of Jesus. I, I, mean, I got me a black Jesus. He said, you saw one. You didn't see male or female. You're not supposed to make nothing in the sea. They got a fish on the back of their car. He said, unless you correct, you're not supposed to have nothing. He said, nothing that fine shall I We got a dove with a reefer branch in their mouth. Everything he told you not to do, they doing it. Ain't you saved? I don't even know why we're here. It didn't make no sense for him to come and die. If he came and died for me to commit sin, that didn't make sense. That's why the book shall we sin? That grace may abound? Oh, he said, no. Why would I be sinning? His grace only abounded to get me from sin. It was not so I could keep sinning like the Christian church teaches. Mm -hmm. See, he died for all our sins that we do today, tomorrow, and next week. Because he already know I'm going to be sinning. Then he already know I'm going to be burning in hell then. Because you can't tell me that salvation was coming so I could legally commit sin. If he hates sin, it wouldn't make sense to save me so I could sin. He came and spoke to them that they sinned, so he sent his son so I could sin. This is called a moron. This is called a moron. That is the most stupidest plan on the planet. He hates sin. He does not want you to sin. So he saved you from your sin. Not that you go back and commit sin. That's the plan. That's a dumb plan to save you so you can sin. <laughs> it just don't make sense. It's a waste of time. You might well be an atheist. I'm confused. You saved me so I commit sin. You saved me from committing sin. Let's see what it means. 123. Who know what I want? Matthew Yahoo. They call it Matthew. Let me see what he said. Matthew Yahoo. That's a proper name. Matthew Yahoo. 123. Make it 121. <clears throat> I'm just confused. Make it 1 and 20. Matthew Yahoo. I am so tired. I am so disgusted with these preachers. All these preachers that deliberately lie to us, it could be me, deliberately lie to us to deceive us, they ought to burn. Why would you want to deceive our people? We had enough mess. Why do you want to see any people? Tell them the truth. If they want to do it, then do it. If you don't, then go burn in hell. We don't need nobody else lying to us, raping us for no money, sleeping with our kids, having sex with the women. I don't want to hear from no preacher. If it can't keep him, don't tell it to me. I came to tell y'all about salvation. How many of y'all want to be saved? Yeah, and so I want to talk to y'all about salvation. Because we believe salvation will free us from committing sin. Because I, I, I be lying and love men and women and kids. But I came to try to help y'all to get y'all saved. Does this make sense? It ain't working for me. What is it going to do for you? I just made her. She's looking like, no, but I don't love no kids, no women. One wife. That's all I believe in. One why, why, one why the first one live. 
I'll use it as an example trying to tell you, it wouldn't make sense to offer you no plan of salvation if I don't have it. It doesn't make sense. If it's not keeping me, how's it going to help you? It make no sense. Listen to the book. Matthew 120 and 20. Listen. But while he thought on these things, behold, a Malachi of the Adonai appeared unto him. What he thought on, he was going to put away Marine, who they call Mary, because he found her with child. Because he would be, what they call him now? He was a Sadak man, just man. It wouldn't make sense for him to take that woman. She was already with a child. He wanted to get rid of her. Listen. The Malachi of the Adonai appeared unto him in a dream. What? And did what? Saying, Yahusuf, thou being of Daoud. Thou son of Daoud. Listen. Fear not to take unto thee, Marim, thy Asha. Tell me why. For that which is conceived in her is of the Ruach HaKadosh. I teach y'all about that too. I tell you another myth that I mess you up with. You just don't know it though. This right here, when he just tell you, makes sense. You know why he was going to put away? Because of the law. That's right. He know what the law say. What are they going to say? They catch him with a woman that already pregnant before he get her. Before he take her. That's Fornication. the law. That's right. So he had to talk to him and convince. And guess what, though? He was going to have to believe what he was told. That's right. Listen. And she will bring forth a being. And what happened? Thou shalt call his name Yahusha. You're going to call him. What you say they're going to call his name? His name, Yahusha. They're going to call his name what now? Yahusha. For what reason? For he shall save his arm from, from their what? sins. You say he's going to save so they can commit what? He shall save his arm from their sins. He's going to save me from my sin. I'm still sinning. He going to save his people from their sin, I'm still sinning. He going to save his people from his sin, and they sinning, and I'm still sinning. One or two things. He ain't do it, I ain't hit people. Right. He didn't do what he said he going to do, or I'm not hit people. Because it don't make sense to save nobody to commit sin. That's right. That's right. See, that, I got to believe that. I got to believe that. That he going to say, I believe he came and saved me from my sin, but I'm going to still sin. What I believe? Nothing. <laughs> I believe nothing. He's got to believe this. He's got to believe this. He's got to believe it. Listen, the law has taught him, you're not, if you find a woman and you find her already had been with a man, you're supposed to take her and stone her and put her away. That is the law. He's just been told to take a woman. That is already pregnant and believe that a man hadn't touched her and that she's going to have a son and that son is going to save their generation, which is Tula Dog, from sinning mm. under the law. Yes, sir. That's why the book told he was a just man. That's right. The law told him what he supposed to do. Ain't no way he supposed to took under the law. Now, had he did what the law did, let me ask you a question. What would salvation be? What, what would salvation be? What he was supposed to do, he supposed to took her, and she supposed to be stoned because she played the heart in her Abba's house. That's right. Now, if she had a son that was going to save her from our sin, what was going to happen? He wouldn't have came. There would be no salvation. That's right. Y'all understand that? Which means he's got to believe all of his word for salvation against what he's been told from the law. Mm. The book told you that the law worked around. That's right. Look at, back me up at the 17 verse right quick. I don't know who these people are. I'm, what I'm going to do? Listen to the book. So all the Tuladoth from Abraham to, to Daoud. All the Tuladoth, which is generation from Abraham to Daoud. Are fourteen Tuladoth. Listen. And from Daoud unto the carrying away into Babylon are fourteen Tuladoth. Yeah. And from the carrying away into Babylon unto Mashiach are fourteen Tuladoth. According to their numbers. Listen. Now the birth of Yahusha HaMashiach was on this wise. He got to tell you how it happened. Because he, he ain't no lie to the truth. He got to tell you the truth. What happened, son? When as his aim. Marine was espoused to Yahusuf. She was promised to be married to him. What happened? Before they came together. You, so he got to tell you that before they came together. Before they came together. He got to tell you the truth. He said, this is how it happened. He, you got the religion going to tell you that she <coughs> lied. That she actually did have sex with him. Then you're not saved. Because the book is telling you this is how it happened. She was pregnant before she got with him. They don't want to talk about that. They don't want to talk the about Muslim that. religion going to tell you, yeah, she was a liar. That's your salvation. 
Listen to the book. She was found with Yalit of the Ruach HaKadosh. So they let you know how she got it. She was impregnated by the Ruach HaKadosh. Listen. Then Yahusuf, her husband, being a Sadak Ish. This is important to you. You know why? Then her husband, Yahusuf, being a Sadak Ish. Sadak is the word for just. That's the Aubrey word for Sadak. Listen to what he did. And not willing to make her a public example. What did he do, son? Was minded to put her away privately. Then hold on, what we got. Let's see how that work out for him. You going to pick me up at Olive of Shamuel, 1 Samuel, chapter 3, verse 1. This is all I got at book. This is all I got at book. 1 Samuel, they're going to call it, 3 and 1. Listen to the book. And the child Shemuel ministered unto Yahuwah before Ali. I'm sorry. Aleph, Malachim, 1 Kings. Three and one. The word is Allah first kings, Mal a king. See, white people got kings. We don't have kings, we have emperors. See, they'll tell you that you'll hear more from Orientals, you hear people use emperor. We don't have a king. White people have kings. Greeks have kings. We got that friend. We don't have a queen. <coughs> we have a Malkah. We don't have no queen. If you look at the definition for queen, that means drag queen. That's a homosexual. That's why they call them a drag queen. That's right. King Elizabeth is a drag king or queen or being. See all these words they told her. Don't let no man tell you no black, no black queen. They love it. They don't mind. They love being called a whore. A queen by definition is a whore. They white people gave it that. We run around, hey, my beautiful black queen. No, you're not, swear. You're a Malcolm. They folk gave you these words. We don't know what the words mean. That's what white people told. And we still run around here still trying to imitate them. People in bad, our people in bad shape. We fight true. Yeah, fight We fight it. Like he said, we will not walk there in. Nope. Love being a nasty hoe. No. Love being a filthy trick. That's right. Man, tell us a hoe. Yeah. And still they dumb enough they don't care. Yeah. Once you know, I know what faggot means. I'm not letting a man come and call me no faggot. Oh, yeah, man, you know what it is, nigga faggot. It don't mean that to me, though. <laughs> what? The man just call you faggot. That's right. That's right. Yeah, you know, it's different, though. See, I got different interpretation. Slide a hand. Where that ball at? <laughs> that right. right. And all, all that behind the back, you know he eventually was going to mess up. That's right. People don't want to admit it. Man, it's hard to get aid from another woman, from a woman. Yep, that's right. That's right. Easy for a woman to care than a man to care. That's right. She's the holder. Yep. That's Why right. we ain't never get the woman he got it from? That's right. Should have been a producer. <laughs> we got Yahushua. He came from Shamayim. Yeah. But we got proof of where he came from. That's right. Tell Matthew, show the proof of where he got the aid from. There should be some other girl around about the same time of sickness. Well, it shouldn't be around about the same time. Somewhere around in there. We ain't never did get no woman produced, did we? Nope. I know. it has been so many of them. All it take is one man. Yep. That's all it take is one man. Listen to the book. And Shalom made affinity with Pharaoh Malak of Mitzrayim and took Pharaoh's bath and brought her into the city of Daoud. This ain't got nothing to do with nothing. Listen what happened. Until he had made an end of building his own house. Listen. And the house of Yahuwah and the wall of Jerusalem round about. Listen what happened. Only the people sacrificed in high places because there was no house built unto the name of Yahuwah. I wonder what that'd be like, Rama. Hi. Y'all Rama. Rama, that's what it is. High. They sacrificed in high places. You ain't going to believe what happened with Yahushua. They held them high. Rama. Don't worry about it. Listen. Because there was no house built unto the name of Yahuwah until those Yamin. Listen. And Shalom loved Yahuwah. Y'all hear what it is? Shalom. He loved. Wasn't it Shama? Not Shalom. 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 Yes, sir. You know, they had a group named Shalom. You remember him? I don't remember that. You don't remember that group shot? Uh, I don't know who that is. <laughs> it got to be Sam Brennan. Who is that? Who is Brennan, that? I want you to put your name right over him. You he don't remember Shalom? They remember Shalom years ago, wasn't it? That's not, it's a different word. <laughs> now don't try to. <laughs> Shalom, you remember that? I don't know who that is. All right, no worries. Go ahead. What year? What year was it? It wasn't that long ago. I know that <laughs> money. I'm sorry. So those, how many of y'all remember Shalom? 
It wasn't that long ago, was it? That's all we're going to say. You said Shalomar? Yeah, what, what you said? Okay, no, I was just trying to see what you were saying. Yeah, exactly. Go ahead. Love Yahuwah walking in the statutes of Dawood his Abba. Listen. Only he sacrificed and burnt incense in high places. Yeah. And the Malak went to Gibeon to sacrifice there. For that was the great high place. A thousand burnt offerings did Shalom offer upon that altar. Yeah. In, Gib in Gibeon, Yahuwah appeared to Shalom in a dream by night. And Allahim said, ask what, ask what I shall give thee. Y'all hear what he said? He appeared to him by night. He said, ask what thou? Ask what I shall give thee? Ask what I shall give thee. Go ahead. And Shalom said, thou hast shewed unto thy servant Daud, my Abba, great mercy. Y'all see what he did? You done showed unto Daud, my Abba, great mercy. Listen what according happened. According as he walked before thee Acor in Amat. See that? According as he walked before him in Amat, which is true. Listen. And in Sadiqah. And Sadiq, which is righteousness. What has happened? And in uprightness of heart with thee. Yeah. And thou hast kept for him this great kindness. Listen what happened. That thou hast given him a bend to sit on his throne. Listen. As it is this yun. Listen. And now, O Yahuwah, my Allahim. Tell me what happened. That thou hast made thy servant Malak instead of Dawood, my Abba. What happened? And I am but a little child. Listen. I know not how to go out or come in. Listen. And thy servant is in the midst of thy people, which thou hast chosen. Listen. A great people. That cannot be numbered nor counted for multitude. Listen. Give therefore thy servant an understanding heart to judge thy people. You said do what now? I'm, I'm confused. Give therefore thy servant an he understanding want, heart. You said he want for himself. What was it that he want? Give uh, therefore thy servant an understanding heart. For what reason? To judge thy people that I may discern between Ta'ub and Rosh. That's all I'm trying to figure out. Now who's some of this again you said? The son of Da'ub. I'm sorry. Give it to Yahoo chapter 1. Matthew, Matthew Yahoo chapter 1, at verse 18. Let's see how that work out. Listen to the book. Now the birth of Yahushua HaMashiach was on this wise. Like what? When as his aim, Marim, was espoused to Yahushua before they came together, she was found with Yalit. Did y'all see that? Boy, they came together. She was already found with child. What happened? Of the Ruach HaKadosh. Talk to me. Then Yahusuf, her husband. So then Yahusuf, her husband, what did he do? Being a Sadak East. See, he was a Sadak East. What did he do? And not willing to make a, her a public example. He didn't want to make a public example of her. And what did he do? Was minded to put her away he privately. He was minded to put her away privately. Listen. But while he thought on the, but these why, things. But while he thought on anything, what happened? Behold, the Malachi of the Adonis. A messenger. A Malachi is a messenger of Yahuwah. What did he say? Appeared unto him what in a he, dream, what, saying. What did he say? Yahusha. Who? Thou being a Daud. The son of Daud. Fear not to take unto thee, Marim, thy Asha. And we just paid attention. Solomon was a son of Daud too. And you know what he wanted? An understanding heart so he knew how to discern. <clears throat> he had an understanding heart that he knew, don't take out here and let him kill him. See, even when the Malachi appeared to him, he told him, said, you the son of Daud. As he walked before him, he would want to know that. Because, you know, Dao also had committed an act, too. Mm -hmm. And you know what Yahuwah did? He said, I put away your sin. That's right. He should have killed him. He should have killed him for what he did. That's right. He said, even in my Abba, Dao walked before you. In a mind, in the truth. Are y'all all right? And he didn't kill him, did he? Well, he looked at Marie and she was a child. The law was he was supposed to bring her to the public and let them kill her. <clears throat> But then that would have been your salvation. That's showing what the law say. Uh, ooh, Allah Shamu. I mean, uh, all aha. They're going to call it Deuteronomy. The proper name is all aha dabarim. It means, and these were the words. See, a lot of stuff people done, they don't know what they're doing. 20, what are they, 21 and 9? Let's say that what I want. See, I'm just, listen, I ain't want this stuff. I just got an ear to hear. Give thy servant an understanding heart. Because people don't, why, why would he not bring her out of hell a kill? That's the law. Because he, he was the son of Dao. And you know, he know, give me an understanding so I can discern. I need to know how to judge. Don't bring out and let him kill him. Just put away privately. Nobody even got to know nothing about this. Huh? That's how just he was. I could just put her away and nobody know nothing about this. But while he thought on anything, a messenger all he told him, don't put away. You take her. Because she's going to bring forth a son. And they're going to call his name Yahushua. You ain't going to believe what he's going to do. He's going to, and you know why he need an understanding heart? Shalom. Because he looked at so great a people. 
I need to know how to discern. What's more important? Me, my pride, or these people being saved? That's all I'm asking. That's why a lot of us ain't got it now. Your pride. All right, listen to the book. All, uh, what is that? I mean, uh, yeah. 21 uh, and 9. 21 and 9, yeah. So uh, shalt thou put away the guilt of innocent blood from among you, when thou shalt do that which is right in the sight of Yahuwah. Yeah. When thou goest forth to war against thine enemies, and Yahuwah thou Elohim hath delivered them into thine hands, and thou hast taken them captive, and seest among the captives a beautiful Asha, and hast a desire unto her, that thou wouldest 13, have her. Is it 21, 13? 22, 21. No, you're way off. 24 and 1? No. No, stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. <laughs> Start down to 13. It should tell about a man taking a, taking a version. Is it 21, 13? 22, 13. How y'all get to 24? Y'all way over there. <laughs> hey, y'all talking about the question. Damn, I don't know about What about he wouldn't have been doing on the divorce? Well, he ain't even married yet. That's right. See, y'all don't, y'all, I know y'all ain't wrong, but see, people start twisting stuff up. It told us she was a spouse. The spouse is promised to be. That's which is actually Spanish, the spousos. It's where the spousos is when they, spouse, when they are married. Where y'all Mexican people at? That's thank you, not Mexican. <laughs> man, here, look, that man more Mexican than anybody. Isn't that right? Listen to the book. 22, 13. I put 24 if I'm messing up. Listen to the book. If any each take in a shah, and go in unto her, and hate her, and give occasions of speech against her, and bring up an evil name upon her, and say, I took this Asha, and when I came to her, I found her not a maid. Listen. Then shall the Abba of the damsel and her aim take and bring forth the tokens of the damsel's virginity unto the elders of the city in the gate. And the damsel's Abba shall say unto the elders, I gave my bath unto this east to Asha. I'll do that for y'all. Listen, well, listen. And he hateth her. And he hateth her. And lo, he hath given occasions of speech against her, saying, I found not thy both a maid. Mm -hmm. And yet these are the tokens of my both's virginity. Listen. And they shall spread the cloth before the elders of the city. And the elders of that city shall take that each and chastise him. And they shall immerse him and an hundred shekels of silver and give them unto the Abba of the damsel. Because he hath brought up an evil name upon a virgin of Yasharal. And she shall be his Asha, and he may not put her away all his yamin. What will happen? But if this thing be true, yeah. and the tokens of virginity be not found for the damsel, yeah. then they shall bring out the damsel to the door of her Abba's house, and the Anashim of her city shall stone her with stones that she die. Tell me why, Brandon. Because she hath wrought folly in Yasharal. Y'all see what happened? Because she don't wrought folly in Yasharal. What we going to do with doing this, Brandon? To play the whore in her Abba's house. Yeah. So shalt thou put evil away from among you. See that? Y'all found it? Y'all saw it? Y'all see it? Buy a sheet. See that 37 and 1. I'm out there. 37. Buy a sheet they call Genesis. I just want y'all to get understanding. That's all. Who said 37 and 1? Listen. Oh. Oh. And what happened? And Jacob dwelt in the land wherein his Abba was a stranger, in the land of Canaan. These are the two Ladath of Jacob. No. See if it's 36. <coughs> yeah, tomorrow, well, 30, 38. 38. 38 and 1. Listen. And it came to pass at that time that Yehuda went down from his Aki and turned in to a certain Adulamite whose name was Hara. And Yehuda saw there a both of a certain Canaanite whose name was Shua. And he took her and went in unto her. Mm -hmm. And she conceived and bare a ben. And he called his name Ur. And she conceived again and bare a ben. And she called his name Onan. And she yet again conceived and buried Ben and called his name Shalah. By Rashid, they call Genesis 38 and he's reading 38, what are you, verse 4? Uh, verse 5. Verse 5, listen. There's and, a conclusion to it. Listen. And, and he was at Shazib where she bare him and Yehuda took a Asha for Ur, his firstborn, yeah. whose name was Tamar. And Ur, Yehuda's firstborn, was wicked in the sight of Yahuwah. And what happened? And Yahuwah slew him. And Yehuda 
said unto Onan, Go in unto thy Aki's Asha, and marry her, and raise up seed to thy Aki. And Onan knew that the seed should not be his. And it came to pass, when he went in unto his Aki's, uh, Aki's Asha, that, she, that he spilled it on the ground, lest that he should give seed to his Aki. And the One thing <clears throat> which he did, Go ahead. And the thing which he did displeased Yahuwah, what happened? wherefore he slew him also. Yes. Then said Yehuda to Tamar, his bath-in-law, remain a widow at thy Abba's house, till Shelah, my being, be grown. For he said, lest preadventure he die also, as his Aki did. And Tamar went and dwelt in her Abba's house. And in process of time, the bath of Shaul, Yehuda's Asha, died. And Yehuda was comforted and went up unto his, into his sheep shears to Timnah, he and his friend Ara the Adulamite. And it was told Tamar, saying, Behold, thy Abba-in-law goeth up to Timnath to shear his sheep. And she put her widow's garment off from her and covered her with a veil and wrapped herself and sat in an open place, which is by the way to Timnath. Mm -hmm. For she saw that Shelah was grown, and she was not given unto him to Asha. When Yehuda saw her, he thought her to be an harlot, yeah. because, he, because she had covered her face. And he turned unto her by the way, and said, Go to, I pull thee, let me come in unto thee. For he knew not that she was his bath-in-law. Yes. And she said, What wilt thou give me, that thou mayest come in unto me? And he said, I will send thee a kid from the flock. And she said, Wilt thou give me a pledge till thou send it? Mm -hmm. And he said, What pledge shall I give thee? And she said, Thy signet and thy bracelets and thy staff that is in thine hand. And he gave it to her and came in unto her. And she conceived by him. And she arose and went away and laid by her veil, laid by her veil from her and put on the garments of her widowhood. And Yehuda sent the kid by the hand of his friend, the Adulamite, to receive his pledge from the Asha's hand. But he, would, but he found her not. Then he asked the Anashim of that place, saying, Where is the harlot that was openly by the wayside? And they said, There was no harlot in this place. Yeah. And he returned to Yehuda and said, I cannot find her. And also the Anashim of of the place said that there was no harlot in this place. And Yehuda said, Let her take it. And Yehuda said, Let her take it to her, lest we be shamed. Behold, I sent this kid, and thou hast not found her. And it came to pass about three months after that it was told Yehuda, saying, Tamar, thy both in law, hath played the harlot. And also, behold, she is with Yalit by, by whoredom. And Yehuda said, Bring her forth, and let her be burnt. When she was brought forth, she sent to her Abba-in-law, saying, By the Ish, whose these are, am I with Yalit? And she said, Discern, I pull all thee, whose are these, the signet, and bracelets, and staff. And Yehuda acknowledged them, and said, She hath been more sadiq than I, because I gave her not to Shelah, my being. And she knew, and he knew her again no more. Well, what we're looking at while we went over this, we went over a lot of the reading of it. Because you need to get kind of a timeline, get kind of configuration of actually what happened with Marine. So when Yahusha would have came to her, she was already with child. The only way he would have known that because she was showing. So like with Tamar, after three months she was showing. That's how he knew she was pregnant. He didn't know she was pregnant because he came to have sex with her. He knew because she was showing. So it wouldn't have made sense to ask to bring no togas of agenda. I just want to show you the law. But see, when she asked them to discern, they had to have an understanding heart. And even he was able to say, she was more just than he was. Now, we learned about with you, Uso, that he was a what was it? You ain't going to believe it. She was more just than him. See, that was the law. They were going to stone and burn her. What you think they're going to do to my reign, three months pregnant, and she's supposed to be married to another man? But then what would have happened to your salvation? So you'd have seen where the Lama prayer would have came in when he would have asked for an understanding heart. 
so he would understand judgment. He would know how to walk because he had to consider so great a people. We start off here and we talk about 15 and 4. What's over written in four times? Written for what? That we through patient coming of the scripture? So all these things that we went through and read put us online to understand that. So a lot of times people just been guesswork. We're not trying to guesswork no more. We got to know. This is your salvation. You got to understand exactly why things happen because you're looking at you're going to be judged by this. It would make sense he would be the son of Dawah. Then he will understand. You know what a father was supposed to do? Teach it to his children. That's right. And to his children. And let them do what? Teach another to the Dawah. So when you went through the book of Matthew, guess what it started giving you? Timeline. Generations. 14 generations to 14 generations. Four, meaning these people would have taught their sons. This is why you need to know measurements and numbers. This is why we sat down and look at You can't afford for nobody else to dumb you down again. Everything you've been told got to be re-examined because you got to look at it. You got to be saved. You've been told that you can be saved and still commit sin, which makes no sense. This man had to believe something that Allahim told him that he didn't see. I don't know how she got pregnant. All I know is you said that go ahead and take her, and I believe that. I've been taught the law, and I got a heart to discern the law, when to implement, when to improvise. You were taught that. You were supposed to have a sheep every home. But if you didn't have one, what you had to do? Improvise. Because I don't know what to tell you. You got to do something under what we've been doing. We ain't making it. Our people being destroyed from what was it again? So when it makes sense to give us a teacher? When it makes sense to give us an instructor so we can start having a lack of knowledge? If lack of knowledge, what can it make sense to give us somebody with some knowledge to give it to us so we don't keep dying? We don't keep doing the same repetitive, stupid stuff, committing sin, making excuses, because we hadn't been properly instructed. I'm going to get ready to let y'all go. I just want you to think, consider your ways and your actions, and look at everything you heard over the course of your time in your life and people and what they've told you and what they demonstrated. You can do this without committing sin. That's the whole purpose of teaching. Once you learn, once you know, then you already know these are things we don't do. These are things we don't do. We don't want. When he saw the distance, just to keep you from the probability of sinning, just like he did in the garden. When he told them the day they eat of this tree, they were going to what? The day they eat of this tree, they were going to what? The day that you eat of this tree, you're going to what? The day you eat of this tree, you're going to do what? What did, what did Ka'ua, they call Eve, say? He said, not only he told us not to eat it, don't Touch it. These were preliminary to keep them from sin. I'm going to sin if I eat it. How am I going to eat it? By touching it. So he set up preliminary to break a wall to keep you from even getting to that point. Don't even touch it. Don't even handle it. All these were preliminary to keep you from sinning. But if you don't believe it ain't in your heart, what you going to do? Touch, taste, handle, die. That's good.